Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiffany Benson, one part of Team Benson, and today I am gonna take you guys on this like almost month long journey of what I've been doing to add more space or like add a, a, another layer to my garden bed that sits on my patio. So it's a raised garden bed, but it's not connected to the ground. It's sitting actually on cement. So there's been some issues with it. So yeah, let's just talk about it. So this garden bed is sitting on my patio. And as you guys know, I have, if you guys have been following me for a while, I finally grew my three sisters garden in there and it was a disaster. Like there was watering issues. There was like the roots didn't have enough places to grow. And it finally made me realize, okay, that's where I need to turn my attention to is that bed. So I have over the last year expanded my garden to where we have like big pots and different things and trees and all those different things because I wanted to make sure that we had a variety of food that is coming out of our garden because the goal is to be self-sufficient at least when it comes to our own vegetables and being able to put up enough vegetables in the freezer since we can grow all year long. Well, I wanna be able to get the most out of that bed and with that bed being not connected to the earth the roots are not having a place to really go down so i needed it to be taller but it's kind of expensive and i needed like lime trees <laughs> so it's been a project that i have been putting off but once i tried to grow corn in there i was like okay yeah no that's something that i need to put focus on so let's do that so I'm gonna take you guys on the journey of the past like month of how I basically filled that bed. I wish that when I first originally started it, I did like the, I think it's called horticulture. I'm probably saying that wrong, but basically you fill it with like logs and different things like that and then fill it with dirt on top of that because it gives the worms something to, to eat and decompose like for a longer period of time. And one of the problems with that bed is that it is basically just full of worm castings because there really wasn't enough in there for the worms and different things that the other di um, different decomposing bugs to decompose. So I'm adding just certain things out of my garden. Now, this is something that I'm just pulling things out of my garden over the past month. Um, things that have died, things that are like leaves and just, just different random things that you guys will see that I'm using to fill the bed. And then I'm gonna top the bed off with some compost and with some potting soil and then we'll be ready to go. So enough of me babbling. Let me just take you guys on this journey. All right guys, so as you know, I already have like my um, corn pieces down here. I have the melon that was on this trellis down here. I have some of the old Swiss chard that is in here and I'm just piling things up. Now I'm gonna add a whole nother section to this. So right now I'm not really worried about um, adding anything on top because I I'm gonna add at least like a solid like two, three, four inches. On here but I want to give the worms something to eat and get them start to become a little bit more active in here so I have some what I deem worm food it basically is just leftovers like tomatoes and apple pills um, you want to make sure that they are deep down in there so nothing digs them up so I'm gonna go ahead dig a hole put them in there guys okay, so I could have 100% went deeper on that but I I don't know <laughs> we're just going to cover it and then we're going to put some of these um, wood pieces back over it like the corn stalks back over it but as you guys can see the soil is looking pretty good but it is very crumbly because um, a lot of it mostly is worm castings so I want to make sure that we have a nice healthy bed here for the fall so we are going to just create more nutrients we have time we're not gonna be planting this bed out until September so we're just going to keep building and building and building in it guys yeah, i'm adding more stuff to it um i picked up all of the mushrooms i have mushrooms growing a lot excuse the handful of okra i have mushrooms growing a lot in that bed over there and mushrooms can draw up a lot of nutrients now not all mushrooms are edible so unless you really know the mushroom that you are growing then you do not want to eat it these do not look like the oyster mushroom oyster mushrooms say that 10 times 
that I was growing, so I'm not going to eat them. But I am going to use them for compost. Since they draw up so much nutrients, it will provide a very nutrient-dense soil. So if you have a bed that has problems with it, pull up all of those mushrooms that you have growing around your garden, throw them in there, and give it time to compost. So that's just one more thing we're doing to this bed. All right, guys, and all we are going to do is just toss them in there. As you can see, the levels on the soil that are in here are starting to get pretty low. And that's because the worms are starting to reproduce in here. So they have a lot more food. And when worms have a lot more food, then they make babies and they make more little worms. So that's going to be really helpful. It's going to really help break down all of these different things that we are putting in here. Like you see, we have the mushrooms. We have all of the dead um, other plants. We have some of the trimmings from the other plants. And then when we add our next level on here, one, it's not going to take so much compost to um, fill up the soil or fill up the bed. But also it is not going to be really unhealthy down below because all of these worms now are really active. And all of those low soil, soil levels, that is a really good sign because that is what that's telling us. All right, guys, we are getting close to having this bed complete. I hope this video really makes sense because I have been filming it over the span of a couple of weeks, actually. Actually, almost about a month. So uh, I just added another, another brick to the bed and some wood slacks too as well. This is the easiest thing to build a bed, guys. It, these are the planter bricks from Home Depot. And then you just get some wood to go into it. And this one is a Douglas fir wood. Now the ones below are cedar, but they did not have cedar wood at my Home Depot. So I got Douglas fir. Now I'm just going to treat the bed. I did a whole video about this, but all you do is just take some mineral oil and just treat your wood. I'm going to treat the whole bed right now just because it's time for me to treat the whole bed. But yeah, simple as pie. And then finally we are going to be at the end. I bought all the compost to go inside of it. So we are going to take out these plants that have just been chilling in here while I find a home for them. And then we're going to add the compost and it's going to be ready to plant some seeds. All right, guys. So this is four bags of compost on top of just all the things that I had down below. And now I was going to put more compost, but I think that I want to make sure that the bed has enough um, kind of like cocoa core, different things like that, that you would find in potting mix because this is on cement. It's not actually on the dirt. So technically this is one big giant pot. So I'm going to go back to my Kellogg's Organics. Um, this one is the potting mix and I'm going to top the entire bed with that. So it'll probably take about four bags. I will let you guys know once I pour it in there. All right, guys, I hope the AC is not too loud, but I finished adding all of the potting mix in here. And one of the things that I like to add to uh, like new beds or just when I refresh my beds is garden tone. Um, it's just an organic like mix, like um, slow feeder. So I want to add that to the bed. I'm just going to sprinkle that on top, mix it in, and then I'm going to water the bed in and it'll be a set for when it's time for me to plant. Now I'm going to be mulching the bed, but I'm going to mulch the bed with all of the wood chips out of just all the little random pots that I have around the garden because all of these pots are getting new soil. All right, guys, and that is it. The bed is finally to the size that I want it because like I said, I've always wanted to plant like carrots and different things like that in that bed, but it wasn't deep enough. And since it doesn't touch the ground, then those roots just hit the <laughs> cement and they have nowhere to go. So that's one of the reasons why things like my corn failed, um, my artichoke failed. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you'll know artichoke was one of the first things I grew in there could never get it to go to flower because there was just never enough room for those roots to go. But building a bed can be expensive. So that's why I always suggest to do things just a little bit at a time. When 2020 came around and there was a pandemic and grocery prices started to go up then, one of the things that I wanted to do was to expand my garden. So I got things like the trees and just like bigger pots like that to where that then I would have more growing space instead of investing and in adding up more or building that bed up because yes four bags of compost and two bags of the uh, raised or of the um the potting soil 
can be very expensive. Plus the wood has gone up and also the bricks were the same price, but it can be expensive. But if you do it a little bit at a time, it allows you to be able to save up money. I built that bed and only have the two layers on there. And those two layers weren't really great at growing things like artichokes and corn, but you know what they were really great at? Providing me with a ton of radishes and greens and lettuces and all of these different things that I no longer had to buy at the grocery store. So all of that budget that I would normally put into buying groceries at the grocery store, all I did was just save up that money so that then now I can invest in making things the way that I actually want them to be. So making that bed a little bit deeper so that then I can plant some carrots, which I think a row of carrots with the greens are going to be perfect. So all these different things are just making us more self-sufficient when it comes to our own produce when we're growing in such a small space. So you guys have to make the best out of what you got. So don't ever let your space determine how much you're gonna grow. Just figure out a way of how you can grow a ton of things in your small space. <laughs> and that is what we do. And that is what I hope that you guys are learning with our channel and with my channel and it being you know, up and showing you guys. So hopefully I'm relaying that message <laughs> is what, it, what I'm basically saying. But Thanks for subscribing. If you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you do go ahead and subscribe because we are getting so close to our 10,000 subscribers, which will be our big giveaway. And I hope that you guys are having an amazing fall garden season. And until next time, grow yourselves a garden because even a small space can provide you with tons of food. Bye guys.